Good morning, YouTube. How are you doing? This is Mike. This is Jenny. With the Pratt Family Homestead. Today, we're going to throw some duck eggs in the incubator. We got a dozen picked out here, and uh, we'll get them thrown in a second. First, I want to announce uh, that we are very shocked and surprised. We've only got like 13 videos out there, and last night, while everybody was sleeping, well, obviously everybody wasn't sleeping because we hit 100 <laughs> subscribers last night. There's some night owls out there just like me. And we are totally floored about that. So our next video coming out in a day or two, uh, probably Thursday or Friday, uh, we are going to do some shout outs because there's definitely some people that help get us to 100 subscribers. And we're going to have a contest. So look out for that video. If you're a subscriber, by the time we publish that video, you'll be eligible uh, to enter our contest. So... On to the duck eggs. Why are we doing duck eggs? Well, last year, almost this time, yep. Jenny started really bugging me for some ducks, for some baby ducks. I kept fighting her. She kept messaging me. Mike, I'm at DSC. There's only 20 left. Mike, <laughs> I'm at DSC. There's only 10 left. And I kept whining. I don't want ducks. I don't want ducks. And so I what happened? I went to TSC and I bought ducks. <laughs> he woke up one day and I got him outside. Thankfully, he didn't see him on the way outside. And we're outside talking. I was like, so, I have a surprise for you. Walked mm. into the sunroom and there's four baby ducks. <laughs> four. That was four baby ducks. Somehow we have six now. I had to get two more. Hmm. Fantastic. And actually, as it turns out, uh, just like with baby chickens and teenage chickens... And baby ducks, I do not like them. What's, uh, they're cute when they're chicks, when they're baby, baby chicks, but oh, when they start growing up, they're just nasty. But now that they're grown, I don't have any problem with them now that they're grown. I love watching them out there. And there turned out to be another benefit for us having duck eggs. Yes. Uh, shortly after we got the ducks, we found out that our youngest boy is allergic to chicken egg, chicken egg whites. So he can have the duck eggs. So it actually turned out to be very beneficial to have the ducks because our four hens lay eggs every single day and we use it for cooking, baking, eating, and it's a lot easier to just switch out the egg than to try to find a true substitute of what works and what doesn't that he can have. Yeah, uh, it's actually been fantastic. Uh, we make homemade mayo now with, uh, uh, with duck eggs, which Actually, we found out that there are some mayos that only use chicken egg yolks. They don't use the whites. But still, uh, that, that kind of drove us to make our own homemade mayo. And like Jenny said, everything. Um, the only thing we have not done yet is eaten duck. Like, actually eat a duck. The duck. Um, <laughs> we don't have a problem with trying it, uh, butchering it, no problem. We just haven't done it yet. And we definitely have one drake that we've got to get on the chocolate block. So, these duck eggs that we're about to put in today... Um, uh, what kind are they, babe? Our hens are Peckin, and our drakes are Rowan. So we'll see what kind of chicks we, we get. Have no idea what they're going to look like. Uh, from what I've read, I believe the, what are the girls? Peckin. Peckins are going to take 28 days to hatch. Um, we were going to do this two or three weeks ago, and we were really excited about getting going on hatching some duck eggs. But we're going to that conference, the um, Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference. I still can't pronounce can't it. Can't say it. Um, and but since we're going to the conference, there was no way we could have ducks and uh, duck eggs in the incubator. So we actually gave one or two dozen to a to a coworker of mine who's been wanting to try out his incubator. So from what mm, stuff crashing stuff in the just background. Fell. It's okay. uh, from what I can tell, and he's candling them, they're, they're coming out great. And we definitely know they're fertile. Um, whenever we crack them open, you can see them. Um, or just watch the ducks outside. <laughs> what is it Faith told us? Our <laughs> oldest daughter, eight-year-old. It's like, hey, look, he's using her like a boat. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> he is. <laughs> oh, we got a sailor in there. All right. So, um, so yeah, so we'll, we'll throw the eggs in here real quick and... Um, uh, and I mean, that'll be it. I'll follow our journey on this. I guess we've never done, we've never done mm -mm. duck eggs in the incubator. We've done chicken. Two times. Two times. Two different batches. And there's a very important lesson with the incubator that I think 
Jenny should tell us. <laughs> uh, in, in regards to the two-year-old? Yes. Yeah, keep it where the two-year-old cannot adjust the dial, the temperature. This little button. She kind of fried some of our chicken eggs. We had like six. We were waiting to hatch, and then I went out, and it's like as hot as hot can be, and there's no more babies. Yeah, the kids love getting up there and... Watching. Look, yeah. Inspecting. Wa watching <laughs> eggs. I mean, they, they could sit there for a really long time and just watch, but she must have messed with that dial, and it was our... The last six we were waiting to hatch, yeah. right? And it was actually very sad. Um... They, the, the chicks died. They all died. Yeah, all six they did. So, so keep the uh, uh, little hands away. There you go. And one other thing about incubators that some people can't get their head wrapped around. Some people is to raise <laughs> and lower the humidity level. He's talking about me. <laughs> no, I would never talk about you. Um, the 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 amount of water in there does not matter. You, it could be six inches deep, just don't cover the eggs, but um, you, the surface area of the water will raise or lower the humidity. So if your humidity is too high, put something on the water that floats and the humidity will come down. If you need to raise your humidity, then, then lessen whatever you have on there that's floating, make it smaller or whatever, and the humidity will go up. It doesn't matter if it's this deep or that deep. So what we are currently using in there Nerf gun bullets. <laughs> Nerf gun bullets. We These... have a supply of those in our house. <laughs> and, and just so you know, I didn't steal any of the kids. These ones are mine. <laughs> uh, Mama so that... doesn't have a gun. <laughs> so that's how that's how we're regulating the um, uh, the humidity in there. Is, uh, if we need to, I'll cut one of those in half. Uh, so that's what we're doing. So let's get to put eggs in there. And um, that'll take about two seconds, maybe. Uh, Incubator's at 99.5 degrees, and humidity is above 55, but below 60, so we're, we're pretty happy with that. So, all right, we'll do that real quick. We'll show you that, and uh, we'll be back in one minute. All right, babe, so what are you doing? I am putting an X on the top of the egg. I don't think that's going to show up with that light on. There it is. Got it, it is, along with the date so later on when I decide I want to put more in we know which ones are going to hatch when and that marks our incubator just it side to side rotates our eggs for us but it does not flip our eggs for us so three times a day we have to go in and actually flip it over so marking one side lets me know you know have I been looking at that X too long or do I need to flip it over things like that Where did that sign come from, babe? We got that from Patera. Where at? At the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference. <laughs> All right. So we'll continue marking these, or she will, because if I write the date, you will never be able to read it. Uh, even if I put an X on there, you won't be able to read it. So she's going to keep marking these. Uh, we'll come back when we're throwing them in the incubator. That's not going to work. All right. We're getting ready to throw these eggs in here, or gently set them. Don't drop them, hun. I won't. That wouldn't be good. I won't. Okay, got a little bit of an angle. It's going to be a little tricky with these heavy eggs. How are you going to do this? Carefully. Um, I'm going to put X down. Oh, those eggs seem really big in there. To start with. We're also possibly, since these duck eggs should take seven days longer than chicken eggs. In seven days, we may put some chicken eggs in here as well. Or, Jenny's already commented that she might want some more duck eggs in here. We're not exactly sure how many ducks we want. Um, so that kind of seems silly that we're doing this, but uh, we could probably sell them easily. And if we can't, we'll raise them. I mean, that's that. Um, I posted a, a picture of one of our ducks on our Instagram account this morning, and uh, I put in there that I was hoping to get some duck eggs into the incubator today, and somebody commented uh, pretty quick that they'd never had duck eggs. Uh, and I, I replied back and I said, well, if you ask me, they taste pretty much exactly the same, especially if you're frying up your eggs and uh, you got butter and salt on them, I mean, come on, and pepper. 
Uh, my two older kids will tell you they don't like duck eggs, but I can tell you right now, um, if I served them duck eggs and told them they were chicken eggs, they would not know the difference. Uh, the big difference to me is uh, the texture of the yolk when it's cooked. Uh, hard boiled or, or, or hard, hard cooked. It's a lot creamier, I think. I really, I really kind of dig it. All right, we got those in there. All right. All right, guys. <laughs> we've, we've got the eggs incubating. 28 days and go. So we'll see. I don't know. We've never done duck eggs. Candling them, I think, has got to be hard. I did just watch a video where somebody was candling them, and I wish I could remember who it was. But uh, they were doing it relatively easily. And my buddy is able to candle them also. So um, if that was you that I saw candling and I commented on your video, why don't you let me know. Help, help refresh my memory. But um, I think we're good. And we will uh, have a video out in the next couple days. Uh, oh, what would you want to know, hon? Uh, if anybody has done a peck and row and cross, let us know what they look like because I really have no idea what to expect. And uh, if... If you've got eggs or incubated eggs, let us know what you think. And, uh, yeah. We were semi-successful, except for the two-year-old catastrophe. Yeah. Hatching chicken eggs uh, last fall. So we kind of feel like we know what we're doing. Um, yeah, we hatched out 29 eggs last fall in two different batches. We did not right. do that all at once. Right. And how? what kind of rate did we have? Do you remember? Uh, like, how many eggs did we attempt? Um, the first time we put 16 in and we got 13, so that was really good. And the second time we put 24 in and got 16. So it would Not have been bad. better. We had two that had already pipped and started to unzip before the two-year-old took control. Before the, the two-year-old issue. So we would have had a little bit of a better rate on that one. Yep. So uh, we're getting good rates on the chickens. We'll see what happens with the ducks. And... Um, uh, thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for that video uh, in the next couple days. Um, I'm Mike. I'm Jenny. Pratt Family Homestead. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, like, subscribe. Yeah, do all that stuff that you're supposed to do. Have a good day.